Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we highlight the best strategy games every single day of the week. And today we are checking out Skid Cities. This is a cyberpunk, dystopian, utopian city builder type game. Let's immediately jump into uh, into the game and see what we've got in store. Uh, we can choose the location of our city. Uh, we can choose to be on the island of California, lowlands of Great Florida, uh, Canada Trade Authority, Federal Trade Authority. I mean, let's um, let's just let's keep it chill with the Federal Trade Authority, the uh, the the big conglomerate here. Upper Bridgeport, sure. Let's jump into that. So obviously, this is a cyberpunk game. It is a game that is set in the future. Uh, this news article from September twelfth, twenty fifty five. Uh, that was 37 years ago, so I guess this means that we are uh, significantly in the future. Also, the volume is way too loud. There we go. Bring that down a little bit. Not entirely sure why it decided to jump out of uh, jump out of the game there. Maybe that's a little bit too a little bit too quiet. There, yeah, we want some. We know we want some good cyber tones. Anyway, uh, so here we have the map. Here we have the map up in the top right-hand corner. We've got our money. We've got our population, and we've got our factory numbers. This game resolves. Uh, resolves itself? Yes, this game resolves itself, or indeed revolves itself, around the notion of building up population, building up factory, and making sure that you deal with all of the difficulties that come with running a city. So, you know what I think we're going to do in the first instance? We're going to explore some of the menus. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to get a little bit of a road built uh, built into our, our city. I mean, barely costs anything, right, in order to manufacture a little bit of road, so that seems pretty darn good. Uh, and then we'll hop right on into zoning, and we will build... Uh, we'll probably build some residential uh, housing first. Poor residential zoning and rich residential zoning. Right, now there's a different cost to build. There's a different maintenance cost. Poor people live here, wealthy people live here. Look, this is obviously the first port of call. And I think we're gonna see if we can try and expand outwards as far as we can in this direction. I actually don't hate that at all. It's it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a fairly big investment in order to get this down but absolutely categorically worth it. We're also going to just throw a road up the side here. Now, obviously, the way in which these districts all work together will become uh, apparent in just a second. But if we go into factory zoning, there we go. Poor people work here. Excellent. I mean, that's just exactly what we're after, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll throw down something like that. Beautiful. And once again, a road right up the side here. And what do you know? We are already off to the races. A little bit of money as well. A little bit of money coming in, which is exactly what we like to see. Some taxes. It's very good. Okay. So, I mean, this isn't this isn't perfect, but this is at least the basis of a city. However, this isn't really where the game shines. Where the game shines is the vertical elements that this game brings into play. So, uh, for example, we can see here, we can see here that all of these factory buildings will require water. Now, if we want to get some water infrastructure down, we absolutely categorically can. We can go into services here, we can go into water, uh, we can grab ourselves a water recycler, and, you know, what do you know, we could stick down, uh, we could stick down a water recycler here and then connect it up with, uh, with a whole bunch of sewers. Now, I'm not going to do that on the uh, on on this level, and the reason that I'm not going to do that is because that's a daft idea, and nobody wants to see sewer pipes. So instead, what we're going to do is we're actually going to hop down to the layer below. We're going to move to the lower level, but in order to do that, we're actually going to have to get ourselves one of these, a downwards road. Sure. Where do we want to where do we want to stick it? Like here? That seems pretty reasonable. And then what we will do is we will hop downstairs into this massive cavernous area. And this is where we can build infrastructure to our heart's content. I don't know. Can you house people down here? I, I do not know. Apparently you can do that. Okay. All right. Maybe this is where we start creating our dystopia. This is exciting. Okay. Build a little bit of road out here. Just a little bit of infrastructure to get us going, eh? That seems pretty reasonable to me. Uh, and then we will pop down not residential as much as i dearly would love to we'll pop down some uh not some sewers but we will pop down sewers in just a sec we'll pop down a water recycler right about there and then we will literally need like what that amount of sewer literally these buildings that we need to cover i believe 
So that's looking not too bad, if I do say so myself. What do you know? Immediately, a whole bunch of factories are going to be springing up. And I'm honestly pretty darn chuffed with that, actually. That's looking pretty darn good. Look at that weird little machine robot building operation there. Very, very cool. Anyway, uh, what's going on here? If we right-click on the factories, or indeed if we right-click on uh, the houses, we can see what the requirements are. Looks like there's a little bit of a worker... A worker job disparity, low workforce. We need to we need to probably sort that. And you know, as you can expect, there's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of information that we can that we can gather via graphs. Uh, I mean, I'm not necessarily too surprised that there's a, a worker shortage. Uh, it does make does make sense. But um, but we can worry about that in just a second. We can worry about that in just a second. Let's um let's let's continue to expand, shall we? Except this time, let's maybe. Let's maybe not place down some poor housing. Let's see if we can try and place down some wealthy housing. How about that, eh? Residential, uh, rich residential zoning. Boom. And of course, we will make sure we'll make sure that it's far enough away that the, the wealthy people don't have to deal with the poor people. That's apparently something that wealthy people care about. So therefore, we will try and sort that out and make sure that they have a wonderful, nice, happy time living as far away as possible from uh, from the poor people. All right, let's pop downstairs. Let's grab a bit of... Uh, what am I looking for? This sewer, boom. Let's keep it coming. Uh, yep, right over to there. As you can already see, we need more services for... Uh, we need more services for wealthy housing as opposed to the poor housing. But that's that's okay. We're 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 okay with this situation. We can just about make do. All right. So we should start to see we should start to see some activity happening. Ah, actually, low demand. Low demand is somewhat of a problem because we need to get some corporate zoning down. So corporate zoning is the factory equivalent in terms of where our workers are all going to are all going to work from. Uh, and can I get a similar? Yeah. There we go. Something like. Something like that. Let's get that down. And that should rectify our demand. In fact, there's already a sewer system over here anyway, which is pretty darn great, if you ask me. Not too dissatisfied with that. Uh, construction zone, low workforce. This, yeah, there we go. I was waiting to say this should be popping up into something imminently, which is grand. Very, very happy with that. And what do you know? Look at that. All of the houses uh, follow shortly after. And instead, we just are left with a little bit of a, a little bit of a sewer issue. But this is okay. All right, so that's like the basics, right? Sewer, water, housing. It's all, it's all there. That's that's all that we really require. Boom. That's it. Now, 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 now. Let's chat about this little bar, which I have evaded talking about for a little while, uh, for good reason, actually. So. The weird thing is, in order to upgrade houses, and in fact buildings as well, uh, you need to increase the level of cyberpunk, which is kind of funky, I guess. Uh, it's it's a little bit weird. Uh, so there's a couple of different ways that we can do it. First of all, we can use cyberspace nodes here, uh, which are, I believe, specifically increase corporate uh, cyberspace. However, there is also... Oh, goodness gracious me, Potato. Where is it? There is... Not that one. This one, yes. So, this is the Arm Aug by Theta. The Theta Corp International was kind to offer its arm augmentation services for free to our poorest citizens. So, this will specifically uh, be able to be placed... Uh, in the poor residential. And it's got an absolutely massive, like, area of effect. And it will increase the cyberpunk level of every single, of every single, uh, every single house within the area. Although, I think, yeah, there we go. Just needs a little second to get going. Uh, nothing crazy thus far, by the way. Like, it's still, it's, you know, it's, it's getting there. But it's, uh, it needs a little, needs a little, needs a little bump. Needs a little extra bump in order to get up to the next level. Let's place down another arm facility. Sure. Let's freaking go, shall we? Boom, boom, boom. Wonderful. Uh, right. There's a couple of buildings, by the way, that we have not unlocked yet, and that is purely because some of them are not available yet. The others need a certain population requirement. Um, so, for example, for the heliport, uh, it unlocks at 1,500 rich population. 
Sure. Anyway, so here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's happening. Boom. What do you know? We've actually got a pretty freaking cool, a pretty freaking cool setup here. So we've got slums that have now been upgraded to, uh, to a hive, which is a thing apparently. And to be honest, I wouldn't even be surprised if we saw more things upgrades. Like there's a couple of things about ready to pop. I mean, this is ready to go, and for some reason. It just hasn't popped off yet. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will at some point. Uh, but there we go. We can have a little look at all of the, the different the different stats here. Taxes, unemployment factories, residential rich, consumes, water, public augmentation. Eh, there we go. It's, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Again, this is why we want to make sure that we don't put rich people next to poor people. Because everyone gets upset and everyone gets sad. Uh, right, I mean, there's other things that we can do in order to increase our cyberpunk level, as I already hinted at. There is the uh, the corporate node system that we can connect to cyberspace, which is kind of weird, but also funky. Uh, can we maybe try deleting this? Yeah, there we go. Ditch that and then stick a cyberspace node right in there. Will that be enough to excite any nearby corporations? We'll need to wait until it's up and running. But I suspect that it will make somewhat of a difference. Yep, there we go. The effect is is muted. Is muted, but it's definitely there. It's definitely there. Very, very exciting indeed. Okay, so what are we looking to what are we looking to do at this moment in time? I mean, frankly, it is a great question. We've got a water extraction center, a water recycler. Requires road access and needs to be connected to the sewer. We could look at we could look at getting a, a wasteland set up. Oh my lordy, what the heck is happening here? Oh my giddy ant. Well, this area kind of popped off the last time that I looked. Uh, how on earth it's managed to increase its cyberpunk level? I, I have absolutely no idea. Look at that, a steel cave. I'm pretty sure this is like the setting for freaking, you know, Judge Dredd or something. This, that's crazy. That's crazy. And I tell you what, this allows us to chat about another interesting mechanic. Uh, if we go into, where is it? Here, here, here. Upwards road. So instead of building, instead of building underground, we could build into the freaking sky. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. And this is really, really handy. You know, the reason that it's really, really handy. Uh, we'll do... We'll do something like this. We'll do something like this. We'll try and keep we'll try and keep our roads roughly on top of one another. Just, you know, just to make sure that it doesn't go too crazy. Uh, but anyway, the thing about the thing about roads is that roads apparently are completely weightless when you build them in this configuration. However, buildings are not weightless, and therefore you need these platforms uh, in order to build stuff in the sky. I mean, for example, I could build uh, I, I guess we want to do some residential. We want to do some residential zoning. Whoa! Where the heck did did all my buildings go? Oh, <gasps> they shrunk! They shrunk just as I was about to just as I was about to do uh, to do a little explanation. Why the heck did they shrink? What happened? What happened? Video game? You you, <laughs> you debated me. I was about to I was about to do an explanation as to how to build things. Anyway, look. That's one of the ways. Basically, if you get a platform, you can get a platform by leveling a building up to the maximum level, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's great. Uh, it's not the only way. You can you can also place down these. Uh, what is it called? Oh, what is it? It's the tower infrastructure thingy, which is right here. Yeah, a tower base allows you to build on the upper level without having to develop buildings underneath. A little bit expensive. Uh, I mean, indeed, we can build one out here just to, you know, show exactly how expensive it is, exactly how it looks. That's it. That's it. It's kind of cool because it does actually move all of the, like, sewer and water services, like, up to the top. So, uh, so that's pretty interesting. Anyway, that's, that's pretty much it with regards to infrastructure that I wanted to, to chat about. Uh, we want to get a few more of these, a few more of these bits and bobs in place. I do like the idea of, of, of building, like, wasteland here. Can we build, like, wasteland just, like, in there? Is that attractive to, to businesses? I've got to assume that businesses just love dumping some waste, so... Sure. There we go. There we go. I mean, look, a little bit of a, a little bit of extra industrial area doesn't hurt anyone. Uh, is there a supply issue at the moment? 
There is not. There is no supply issue. That's actually looking really, really good. There is no progress towards cyberpunkness, though. So we, we probably want to change that up a little bit. And we want to keep on accelerating the uh, the cyberpunkness of this area as well. So uh, so that's what we will do. Okay, what on, what should we go on to next? I mean, crime? Crime is a little bit interesting. But to be fair... Uh, Building squatted. Unhappy about their poor conditions. Some poor residents of Upper Bridgeport have taken over a poor residential squatting unit. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I don't care. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Crime is on the rise in Upper Bridgeport. This honestly does not surprise me even slightly. Let's have a little look at some graphs so that I, I can, you know, I... Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. This is, this is not good. Okay. Well, I mean, there's lots of street crime. Apparently, there's loads of thugs. Uh, how is this possible that we have about twice as many thugs than we do population. Is this in the thousands? This has got to be in the thousands. Total 2,600? Okay. I am officially confused as to why we have 7,641 uh, street crime. Who the heck knew, eh? Anyway, we got a whole bunch of toxic waste. That's kind of nice, right? Love a little bit of toxic waste. Dump capacity, loads. Uh, produced toxic waste is, is basically none. Anyway, uh, there's a little bit of unrest. So unrest is a little bit of unrest is a little bit unfortunate because you know we, we need to show we need to show these people exactly exactly how much they should love the city. And to be honest, they should they should love the city. How is unrest looking? So unrest is uh, is is largest in the red areas. So there's a little bit of unrest over here. You know what? In fact, I know exactly what these people would like. I know exactly what these people would like. A little bit of an, a little bit of a, an arm augmentation. How about that? Spice up the spice up the the skyline with a little bit of arm augmentation. We'll get another little bit of arm augmentation over here. And what do you know? I think that maybe people will be okay with living in this city for a little while longer. That's the dream, anyway. That's the dream. Look at look at all these upgraded houses. This is very cool. This is very, very cool indeed. Okay, let's see if we can try and plonk down some cyberspace nodes as well. Because I think... I think this will increase the uh, the productivity of the small factories. We also need to invest in upgrading the corporate offices, but we'll, we'll worry about that in just a second. Did that end up working? We'll see in just a second. Corporations will be excited about it. Ah, it's only corporations that uh, that are excited about that. Gotcha, 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 video game. All right, what else have we got? Entertainment facilities, Android Fight Arena. Oh my goodness gracious me. How on earth do I get an Android Fight Arena? Uh, also, I would like to hide tall buildings. There we go. So I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. All right, a little bit of an Android Fight Arena right in the middle of the city. This seems entirely reasonable and entirely responsible. Let's do that right in there. It did cost me a pretty penny, but I mean, actually, I've got so much money that nothing really matters. A kill Android Center? Stressed here you can kill androids for fun, exciting wealthy citizens. Uh, let's do that, because abso freaking lootly, let's do that. I feel like that's exactly something that wealthy citizens would love. Oh, look, immediately, immediately, real estate prices around the, the kill android arena are, are absolutely, absolutely taking off. Okay. There we go. Let's just sort of create a little bit of a grid system that's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more robust, shall we say. Also, for those people who, who don't like grid systems, uh, you know, creating a dystopian city probably ain't for you. Oh my lordy, look at that! I have no idea that there were so many wealthy people that were looking to, to try and kill androids. Oh my goodness gracious me, this is so lovely. Uh, scraping Leafs, rich residential zoning. Okay, this is very, very cool, and we've also just crested 10,000 citizens. Uh, I was going to say, I have no idea how that happened. Uh, it turns out that um, by augmenting the entirety of our city, we have um, we've managed. Uh, also, there are some pretty high levels of unrest in this vicinity. Yeah, there's there's some pretty high levels of unrest. Okay, you know what I think we need to do? I think we need to double down on the whole uh, the whole saving the population from themselves thing. So let's go into what is it? We could look at the camera nest. Uh, this will decrease street crime. Uh, can I have a little look at the street crime overlay, please? Uh, street crime is very high. It, it's, it's yeah, it, it, mm, it, it's very high. It's very high. Let me, yeah, that's a little bit easier to look at. Hmm, do I care about street crime? I kind of do, to be honest. An underground jail where you can safely store violent criminals. 
escape not allowed but possible. Okay, well that's a that's a thing to note. I think I'm more interested in in changing uh, in changing everyone's opinion about the city in which they live. Propaganda screens? Yeah, I kind of like the idea of propaganda screens. A truth media center? Yes. Reduces unrest. This is very exciting actually. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do, right? So we're going to introduce boom a truth media center, a giant screen of truth. Oh my goodness, this is great. All right, so one of those and one of those. Will that reduce unrest? It's going to take a little while for it to sort of filter through and into the general population. Uh, but it will happen. Okay, street crime. Unrest is now zero, by the way. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, it's just easy, apparently. Street crime still remains a little bit high. Maybe we should think about getting, uh, somewhat of a... Somewhat of a police force up and running. Well, actually, tell a lie. You already have the police force. It's just the... It's just the jail that we really need. Okay, we'll stick down to jail here. And that should reduce street crime, I believe. So we've got that to look forward to. Unrest we're taking care of. Rogue androids. Some androids will go rogue and try to gain independence, killing mostly innocent citizens. Okay, all right, we, we can't get that because we already have, uh, we don't have factories that are level two. Uh, wiretap front, this is absolutely not a wiretap. Uh, reduces dissidents. Okay, well, I mean, we can worry about dissidents a little bit later on. Let's chat about another aspect of this game that I have, uh, that I have thus yet not chatted about. Uh, how are, how's crime looking? Cri crime is looking very, very high. Uh, it's, yeah, ooh. Ooh, yeah, street crime is at a, is at a new... A new super high level. Is there any is there any street crime over here? There's no street crime over here. This is good. Criminals jailed? Look at that. Look at that. Loads and loads of criminals being jailed though. That's that's looking that's looking excellent. Uh, we can worry about that in a second. We've already got the entertainment facilities that I was after. What about this? 20th century trees? I mean no. Who wants 20th century trees in in a freaking dystopia or in a utopia? Anyway, let's let's jump into to some of these buttons here. Taxes are looking pretty good. Costs are looking pretty good. We can take out some loans. Oh my goodness gracious me! I mean, that's great, but I'm actually doing fine for loans. This is an easy map, by the way, so it would kind of make sense as to why I've barely had to worry about my finances at all over the course of this episode. Um, population, yeah, population is fine. City graphs, uh, we've already looked at that. This is the interesting one, right? This is the interesting one. So, this is laws and organizations. So, there are three organizations that can be present in our city. So, Bonfire, which is, I believe, our organization or the organization that we are playing as. And this organization is one of these, like, I don't know, futuristic megacorp style things. Uh, and here we are. We are expanding in the city. It's already it's already here, obviously. Uh, its presence leads to increased building income, and it looks for rich residential level one. Offices level one as well. Influence in the city gives us increased corporate taxes, wealthy taxes, uh, but it also gives us a little bit more, a uh, little bit more, a little bit more dissident. Uh, also, we can acquire, we can acquire other organizations. So the Theta Corp, for example, looks for a certain thing, a certain number of things. Same with the Yakuza, looks for street crime, corporate offices, rich residential, rich residential too, will bring street crime, residential taxes, and organized crime. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a mixed bag, really, but that's fine. Anyway, uh, this is where things get really interesting, actually. Uh, we can introduce crazy laws that will, <laughs> um, just, I don't know, change the game in a really weird way? Uh, we can legalize violent crimes. By passing this law, you legalize any type of violent crime in your city. As a result, there will not be any street crime anymore. It's just life. Yeah, there we go. Let's change, let's just annihilate, um, we'll just annihilate street crime by just fudging the numbers, I guess. Uh, what about dark money? By passing this law, you legalize all of the organized crime groups in your city. There will not be any organized crime anymore. It will just be business. Addiction? Okay, unrest, decreased, organized crime, increased, opposition, uh, okay, all right, androids, rogue androids, unrest. I mean, what about legal crimes, right? Let's sure, let's freaking go. It costs us like 2,000 bucks to enact and 2,000 bucks to maintain, but now we don't have any crime. Crime is just, uh, crime is just not a thing. Crime will just disappear. All violent crime has been legalized. Congratulations. To me, I guess. Anyway, um, this is this is looking very, very good. We do still need to like increase the cyberpunkiness of, of pretty much everywhere. 
Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of cyberpunking that needs to be done. Let me do I don't know. There we go. Something like this. Cyberspace. Grab this, 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 and this. Uh oh. Something something just happened. A rebel group emerges. Uh, the dissidents in Upper Bridgeport are stepping up. Multiple sources reported to the Upper Bridgeport gate that a new organized group of dissidents were formed this week. Uh, the location in the city, the identify of its affiliates, are all unknown. Do not worry, we will discover what they have in mind pretty soon, said a city official that preferred to remain anonymous. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay, well, we'll worry about that a little bit later on. We've got some medium corporate offices. Got some corporate zoning over here. What's the local situation? What's the local situation? Corporate unemployment increased. So everyone's got... Uh-oh. Terrorist safe house discovered. All right. Cool. It's somewhere. I don't know where it is, but apparently it's 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 over here. Also, I was going to I was going to demonstrate what we could do with uh, with roads in the sky, wasn't I? Yeah, let's head upstairs. Let's head upstairs and let's delete that road, that road. And then you know what I think we want to do? I think we just straight up want to zone more housing up here. Like literally in the sky. I think I think this is immensely exciting. Okay, boom, boom, boom. More poor residential, sure. There we go. Throw that down, throw that down. Throw that down, throw that down, throw that down. And over here as well. Nice! I mean, I dig it, to be honest. I sincerely dig it. This is, this is going to be great, I think, if it works. Now, hey, look at that. Look at that. It, it doesn't show up from this level, but we definitely do have... We definitely do have some houses here. And it's a little cyberpunk as well, so we're gonna see... Uh, we're gonna see what happens. Also, uh, terrorists destroy underground jail? Um, well, that's somewhat of a problem, actually. That That's... I would suggest that that is a big problem. Um, yeah, okay. Our, our, our city is now... Our city is now in a little bit of a, a little bit of a dodgy, a little bit of a dodgy place. Uh, I imagine that this is all primarily caused through street crime or perhaps organized crime. There we go. Uh, what am I looking at? Toxic waste? No, no. We need to be on the ground layer. We are on the ground layer. Street crime? Yeah, street crime is all legal, isn't it? So that's, so that's fine. Uh, terrorist safe house? Can we not just destroy this place then? Okay, apparently we're not allowed to do that. Apparently we're not allowed to do that. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can try and stick up some cameras around. Maybe see if we can try and stick in a drone station. Uh, so that is specifically to deal with... To deal with the police issue. Safe house cleared. Easiest clear of my life. Okay, so that's a lot of, that's a lot of jail operation going here. That's good. Dissidents. Uh, let's, let's let's stick in some some of this stuff. A listening post. Uh, or what about an interrogation post? Okay. Let's get an interrogation post. Absolutely categorically. Interpol money tracker. It'll track down dark money and highlight potential money. Okay. I mean, let's do that. Sure. The point of this game, by the way, I believe, is to just build massive, sprawling cities. I mean, you look at the size of the area that we've got to play around with here. It's it's just huge. It's just absolutely off the off the charts. Uh, so here's the thing that we need to consider: is that we can also we can also go down the the road of either a dystopia or a utopia. Uh, sewers next to slums, corporate offices next to secret service. I mean, look, I. I think we'll probably end up accidentally becoming a dystopia. The sewers next to slums. Corporate offices next to secret service. I mean, you know. Maybe. Maybe that'll happen. Get Theta Corp to join your city and reach high levels of influence. This mission will bring you 10,000 completed. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. So how do we get uh, how do we get the, the Theta Corp to, to, join our, to join our city? Well, that's a great question. They're pretty interested already, to be honest. They need offices level 2. They need low street crime. Well. Well. Let me tell you. Uh, they also look for residential level 1. That is wealthy residential level 1, by the way. I think. 
I think it's re uh, wealthy residential level one. At the end of the day, it doesn't actually particularly matter. Let's see if we can do... There we go. Let's see if we can do something like that. And to be honest, let's just keep on freaking expanding, right? Let's hide tall buildings. There we go. Uh, this is going to be monstrously bad, actually. Okay, just try not to make this not work, potato. There we go. That's uh, that's back to to what we were to what we were looking for. All right, roads. Boop. 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 We'll we'll design a bespoke little road around the the android fight center here. Ah, why not? Okay, connect that up. Wonderful. Okay, so we should have like loads and loads and loads of tier one houses coming along very, very shortly indeed. Uh, do we have any tier two offices here? Do we still not have tier two offices? Yeah, what's what's wrong? Residential rich dissidents. Yeah, okay, so is there an issue with dissidents? Have we accidentally created too many dissidents? Dissidents re-education. In re-education. We have no dissidents in re-education. We also have a lot of organized crime. We also have a lot of public augmentation. Obviously, uh, this is to be expected. Cyberpunk levels are, are pretty low. Theta Corp expands. We did it. We freaking did it. We freaking did it. Theta Corp influenced to level five. We will try our very best to do that again. That is through this interface here. Presence level three. Oh, did that? Did they just hit level four? Expanding again? I mean, it looks like it, doesn't it? It freaking does. It, it blooming well does. Okay, should we repeal? Should we repeal this? I, I think that we should. Let's repeal the uh, the legalized violent crime thing. That doesn't really seem sensible. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it like this. Organized crime, they meet here. No, they do not. No, they do not. Let's let's make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, can we... Oh my god. We've got two levels. We've got two levels of massively... Massively, massively, massively tall structures. I don't believe it. Theta Corp scales back. Apparently, they were only interested. They were only interested in uh, in the city when the crime was legal. Well, I, I guess I will approve. I guess I will approve it once again, so that Theta will will come back and continue to expand. That's the the sort of corporate interest game that I play. Okay. Uh, let's expand our... Buh, 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 buh. Ooh, an airport. An airport. Yes. Build a tower base below. Oh, no. Build it on the ground. Build it on the ground right here. Build the airport. Does the airport go down or does the airport cause the game to crash? It doesn't. Mission Theta Corp Revolution completed. Gained a reward of X amount of money. That's a very, very dinky airport. Required different altitude. Okay, so we need to we need to build it up. That's that's fair. We need to work on improving this area. Actually, uh, Cyberpunk needs to improve in this vicinity. Uh, we also just need to provide these uh, people with more services. Environment mining facility helps factories on the upper level and around it. Sure, let's uh, let's throw that down there then, shall we? And then throw that down there too. I presume that this is going to increase. A few bits and bobs. Public air filtration system makes surrounding air cleaner. I have no idea what the air quality is like over here. If I had to imagine, I would say it's pretty poor. Maybe if we throw this down, it'll it'll upgrade a few uh, a few bits and bobs for us. There we go. There we go. Get that down. We also need to get water over here, which I am fully aware is something that needs to get done and needs to get done right now. Again, keeping our sewer downstairs seems to be. Seems to be working out just fine, to be honest. I don't think that we've really had any issues with regards to sewer capacity yet, anyway. Uh, we can have a little look on the graph here. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Water available? Yeah, recycled, consumed. We're apparently not even consuming... Oops. Uh, apparently not even consuming anywhere near uh, the total amount of water that we, that we can consume. So that's kind of nice. All right, look at that. We got more. We got more citizens. We got more and more and more and more citizens. Man, making it cyberpunk is 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 a toughie. That's for sure. Residential zoning. This is looking. I mean, this is looking great. 
but uh, but honestly, getting getting everything else going is is really quite something. So uh, these places consume androids, I believe. Yeah, how many rogue androids do we have? I would be very curious to know. Utopia positive, dystopia negative. Eh, maybe dissidents are not here. These graphs are a little funky. Cyberpunk, public augmentation, population. Population is huge, actually. Toxic waste. Got loads of toxic waste. Okay, so there's nothing. There's nothing with regards to rogue androids. Yeah, do we have any rogue androids anywhere? Oh, we got a couple of rogue androids over over here. Can we uh, hunt down some rogue androids? That would be pretty cool, right? Rogue androids. Yeah. Android recall station. We'll plonk that down over there. There we go. One over there. One over there. Bonfire scales back. It's it's okay. Uh, we got no utopia. We got no dystopia. But that's kind of to be expected. Dissidents are looking pretty good. Public perks. Yeah, we don't really need to go over that again. I mean, more... Public augmentation is is probably what we're after. It's it's how we it's how we increase everything in our city, right? There we go. We get everyone we get everyone hooked on on augmentations. That's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Oh boy, that's looking really really good. Waste silo unlock at a thousand factories. I mean, we're at 420 factories, actually. To be honest, there's probably, like, zero jobs available. I mean, can I even check that? Uh, is there one for jobs? Factory jobs? Available? Needed. Wait, so there's not any factory jobs that are actually needed? Alright, yeah, no, that, that totally makes sense. That totally, totally, totally makes sense. So, basically, we need to plonk down a whole bunch of additional factories right now. Let's get as many factories as we possibly can. Uh, there should be no rogue androids. There should be no nothing. There should be... There should be just bliss for miles and miles and miles around. Okay, good. There we go. Okay, factories by the boatload. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Boop. Boop, boop, and boop. And this, you know, importantly, this game is all about scale. Uh, we should also stick in a roadblock, like right about here, so that we can, uh, so that we can keep, you know, the the poor people from the rich people. Uh, no cars, street. No, we're not super bothered about that. We've already got an airport, which is kind of exciting. A rocket port. Get to another continent on the moon. Required to grow corporate offices to a serious level. Expensive. I mean, putting it next to next to a house seems like a pretty bad idea. So we'll do we'll do something like this. I hope that that makes people like me a little bit more. One can one can but dream. Bonfire satellite offices. Oh my goodness, we're actually taking over we're actually taking our corporations are actually taking over these offices. That's uh that's pretty cool. We still need more cyberpunk to be honest. We still need more cyberpunk. Also, our our income has absolutely tanked, but it's okay. We can we can sustain that a little bit. We can sustain that. Okay, let's scale up and let's see if we can try and scale up as rapidly as we possibly can. Let's head down to the to the bottom level, and boom, we'll wait for everything to show up here. Looking good. Looking good. Let's scale it up. Let's scale it up. Scale up everything. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we could also looking at uh, we could also look at increasing the cyberpunk levels. How do we do that with low tier factories? Uh, that's a marvelous, marvelous question. As we let the game calculate exactly how many jobs will now be needed after all of this gets built, it's a little bit, a little bit laggy. But there we go. Okay, so you consume maintenance, water, unemployment, and you consume androids as well. So where the bleeding heck do we get these androids from, eh? Where the bleeding heck do we get the, the androids from? Okay, waste. We do not want to waste silo. Wasteland. Can we just build, like, more wasteland here? 
Do people really want extra wasteland? Is that is that what is that what everyone's crying out for? That I've been missing this whole darn time? Could very well be. This does uh I'm not sure if the public augmentation actually adjusts the cyberpunk level of factories. I don't think that it does, as far as I can recall. And then we know that... Yeah, we know that this is uh, adjusted by the cyberspace node. Cyberspace satellite dish. Yeah, we'll plonk down a couple more of these. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's looking, that's looking pretty darn good. Pretty great. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. It's fine. That's an extra one, for sure. Corporate zoning. There should be plenty of cyberpunk. Yeah, cy plenty of cyberpunk upgrades here from now on. Can I have a little look at the jobs report real quick, please, video game? Uh, we've got zero street crime. And that's pretty much because it's, yeah, it's legalized. Yeah, I, I forgot that for a millisecond. Unrest. There's still a little bit of unrest. There is basically zero toxic waste, but that's fine. That is, that is okay. Also, we could look at this uh, in the night, which is very, very cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this city that we've built. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Fly a drone around the city. Oh, yes, please. Yes, freaking please. So where are we at the moment? I mean, it looks very grim. That's actually, that's actually perfect. Okay, uh, we should have a little look at how to make a dystopia because, I mean, if there is anything that I'm, that I'm keen to do, it is to, it is to make a freaking dystopia. Uh, oh, that's a little, uh, sunset view. Sunset view is, is how we're going to rock and roll. Okay, so what did the game say about making a dystopia? Uh, it was in here, guide, dystopia, uh, sewers next to slums, corporate offices next to secret services. Okay, uh, let's let's see if we can do that. So we are looking for Interpol, if I'm not mistaken, and then these, maybe some money trackers as well. See if that makes any difference. Uh, we'll also stick some down in this vicinity. Yeah, of course we can't let the the normal factories escape the the money tracking. Unrest is okay. That's great. Nothing else that needs to be done over here. Augmentation. Man, we need to just increase the cyberpunk in a major way. We really do. What about a... What about a heliport, actually? Yeah, what about a heliport on this area? Yeah, required different altitude. Obviously, we want to sort that out, but... Very excited about the prospect of making that happen. Uh, sewer next to slums. Let's, let's do that. Also, what's the issue here? What's the issue here? Why have uh, why have why have this not popped off? What is what is going on? Local situation, residential rich. Ah, it's nothing nothing wrong here. Nothing wrong. We're ready to ready to see an absolute explosion of activity. Ready to see an explosion of activity. Anyway, uh, we'll see if we can try and get some sewers over here. So what? We just want to stick some sewers around here. I mean, I feel like this is actually quite a good quite a good place to to live i mean even even though it's 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 pretty bad oh look at this dystopia look at this uh yeah we got a dystopia point up in the top right hand corner that is that is kind of nice and now we've officially i guess created uh somewhat of a dystopia i mean i don't really feel like i want to you know go back on that and create a utopia but uh but there we go you can try other things and see what happens some buildings and events will unlock only if your dystopia of a city is high enough. You can see its influence in the layers and graphs. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, let me let me see. Oh, it disappeared. It dis it disappeared. It it disappeared. Where'd my uh, where'd my dystopia points go? Ah, I missed I missed the freaking dystopia points. Ah, that's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, public augmentation. Yeah, people don't really seem to want to upgrade here. I have no idea. No idea really why. This is where it's at, apparently. I mean, look at the hub of activity that is this vertical pillar thing here. It's absolutely bonkers, actually. It's absolutely bonkers. Right. 
Wowzers. What a what a what a fantastic what a fantastic game. I feel like I've really barely scratched the surface of it. This area is also looking very very cool as well. My rocket port pretty nice. Uh, I am losing, you know, quite a pretty penny. Uh, to be fair, it's it's not exactly it's not exactly brilliant. Factory zoning is looking is looking great. It's looking it's looking okay. Uh we've got a pretty darned large number of population here and look at that we're we're even getting we're even getting some extra money from from these peeps as well which is kind of great total demand for factories uh okay there is a lot of factory demand here there is a lot of factory demands if only i freaking could figure out how to get the uh the cyberpunk level increased on the factory i mean that would be that would be brilliant what do we need an airport i don't i don't think that an airport is is what does it pretty sure it's Pretty sure it's not cyberspace. We can try cyberspace, given that it costs so little. Uh, but yeah, I cannot for the life of me remember what, what it is that, uh, that these factories want. We can put some public augmentation stations down here. Is it mining facilities? Is that what they're really after this whole time? I guess we'll see, right? Sure, just build, build everything. Build absolutely everything. There we go. Mining facilities, mining facilities, mining facilities, mining facilities. Anyone want to upgrade? Anyone want to do me a solid and just freaking upgrade? Is it un is it perhaps unrest that is that is just far too high? I don't think so. Toxic waste is looking okay. Factory jobs. We still got plenty of factory jobs. Aha! Mining factories or mining facilities. We got them. We got them. Nice. So that's great. Helps factories on the upper level and around it. Okay. Interesting. So if we just plonk down more and more mining facilities here, then that's eventually going to lead to... Yep, yeah, that's eventually going to lead to a higher level of cyberpunk. Don't really get the, the connection between cyberpunk leveling up and mining facilities, but, uh, you know, that's, that's fine. I guess. Sure. We'll just... Just continue to spam down a good number of mining facilities here. Uh, let's also get some of this factory zoning. We'll get like, I don't know. Sure, something like that. Get some roads. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, we got it. 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 Max level cyberpunk. Max level cyberpunk. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Uh, yeah, our, our financials are in a little bit of a dodgy place, but that's actually mostly okay. Uh, is it water that we need for these for these things to, to actually start popping off? May very well be water, and I just haven't considered the water connections yet. Uh, there we go. There we go. That may make a difference. Might not. Uh, we're also apparently running this entire operation from just, like, one freaking recycler point. I have... No idea why it's taking, you know, literally just one to run the entirety of the city. But at the end of the day, I'm not, uh, I'm not too bothered. AE Corp. Look at that. Look at that. We got a lot of, we got a lot of corps. And I like, I like corps. That's, that's what we're after. That is literally what we're after. Also, remarkably hit two stars of dystopia up here. Uh, and then it just completely disappeared. Okay, so there's clearly something there's clearly something up with my dystopia levels I'm not exactly sure what the heck is going on uh, unlocked Unlocked you can now build the something Okay, well that that's it's super helpful. Thank thank you for that video game. I, I appreciate that uh, I, I guess we'll see if we can try and find what we can build public augmentation I have absolutely no idea what it could possibly be. Recall. Nope. Nope. Yep, I have I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Could we build some? There we go. Build some vegetation around here. There we go. There we go. Some some lovely gardens for the rich for the rich folk. That's looking that's looking pretty darned that's looking pretty darn great. I'm actually really really happy with how this with how this entire city looks. Look at that as well. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, if I have a little look at the number of jobs that are now required, I'd hope that it's been somewhat fixed. I hope that the jobs I hope that the jobs are okay. 
There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're actually starting to see some factory jobs that are uh, that are becoming needed. That's great. Corporate jobs probably need more corporate offices, to be fair. But I don't even think that we have any corporate offices. Uh, that's almost terrible. There we go. And right down yonder. A little bit of a little bit of a sewer extension make a big old difference here again still utilizing the one well now two uh two sewer pumping stations so extra corporate jobs go a long way hopefully allowing us to improve a little bit there's a little bit of a freeze in the game again but that's okay because it's just uh it's just an early access just an early access title in the moment so you know take everything that you see here a little bit of a pinch of salt eh because the foundation, the foundation is good. The foundation is definitely good. I'm, I'm in love with the way that this game looks. Honestly, I'm just a sucker for cyberpunk. Uh, for some reason, by the way, we're, we're not seeing, we're not seeing, we're not seeing this takeoff. I don't know why. It's, it's just not the, uh, the poor residential zoning. It's just gonna stay, it's gonna stay poor for a little while longer. Not entirely sure why. Not entirely sure that I'm particularly bothered. Man, this game is actually. Kind of starting to chunk, so uh, so that's not too terrible. Uh, but anyway, I mean, at the end, at the end of this video, I feel like after we wait for all of this stuff to be uh, to be built here, because this is kind of it's kind of gnarly to be honest. I I like this uh, like this corporate office nonsense. We have hit two levels of dystopia, which is which is nice. Again, not entirely sure what we are able to build and what we're not able to build. Doesn't particularly matter. But I thought, you know what, given that it's the end of the episode, we're going to see if we can just try introducing every single freaking law that we possibly can. Uh, addiction, sure. Opposition, sure. Androids, sure. Sure. So how is that going to change things? I suspect that it is going to completely destroy the city. But alternatively, it might save the city. So I guess we'll see. Or alternatively, it could make pretty much zero impact whatsoever. Let me have a little look at the corporate jobs. There's less corporate jobs available. Okay, cool. Have a little look at the water. Water's fine. Toxic waste, fine. Population. Population did decrease by a big old amount there. I wonder if that was accidentally due to uh, due to some of the some of the shenanigans that uh, that I introduced. Also, this area is looking. This area is looking pretty chill. There's very, very low levels of unrest. Kind of nice. Dissidents. We got a couple of dissidents. Who cares? Uh, we don't have anywhere that's a utopia. We do have somewhere that's a dystopia, though, right? So, bounty hunters. Oh, my goodness. There's some bounty hunters in the center here somewhere. All right. Well, that's scary. Desirability for corporate offices. It's got to be here, right? Yeah, around the air purifiers, around the rocket port, that sort of stuff. Residential, poor, uh, high desirability. Pretty much everywhere here, but yet we're not seeing it increase. Factory, high desirability. I mean, it's been designed accordingly so that it all works in the, uh, in the current configuration. Nature, Robo Vance. Yeah, where the heckity heck is the uh, is the dystopia layer? I don't think that we have the option to see a dystopia layer. Bit of a bit of a shame there. Uh, also, my dystopia points have magically disappeared, uh, which is just weird. And there's been another safe house that's uh, that's been discovered. Uh, but you know what? I can't really complain uh, altogether too much. This is barely pushing the limits of uh, of the game, by the way. I mean, look, there's a whole bunch of additional uh, places where you can set up your city and just you know go on and absolute city an absolute city building rampage and build to your heart's content i just love the setting i freaking love 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 the cyberpunk setting and uh i i really like this game skid cities you should check it out ladies and gents it's uh it's down in the description down below if indeed you are interested thank you ever so much for watching this video uh, thank you as ever to the fantastic patreon supporters patreon.com for the but potato thanks to banana nana nsc senpai and aurelio from the 325 dollar plus tier patrons thank you very much for watching folks and i'll see you next time Bye.